Hello guys, today I am going to discuss about uh, Hadoop versus RDBMS. So let's see first uh, what is the HDFS and uh, what are the components in HDFS. How the given uh, large uh, file size can be breaked and uh, it can be dumped onto the um, node uh, blocks and all. So we will see what are all those things. Uh. So how the data storage nodes, how many number of components are there means usually HDFS it will follow the master slave architecture. So what is that master node means it is called as the name node. So and what is the slave node means it is the data node we can call it like data nodes also. So what is the role of this master node and the data nodes means so see this name node works as a master node in the Hadoop cluster where it will guide all the data nodes here. And the name nodes is mainly used for storing the metadata. Um, only the metadata information will be there in the name nodes. That means what is that metadata information see here? It can be the name of the file or it can be size of the file or the information about the location of your block, your block IDs of the data nodes. All this information will be there in the metadata here. So the one, uh, all these name nodes uh, instructs the data nodes uh, with the operations like uh, we can go with the delete operations, create operations or uh, replicate type of operations also on the name nodes. And if you take the data nodes again, uh, data nodes works as a slave data nodes which are mainly utilized by for uh, storing the data in a Hadoop cluster. And the, the number of data nodes that uh, can be from uh, 1 to 500 or even more than that. We can have more than 500 data nodes also or we can extend more than that also. And the more number of data nodes, the Hadoop cluster will be able to store more amount of data here. So it is advised that the data nodes should have always the high capacity to store the large number of file blocks. So that is about the name node and the data nodes. Data nodes are basically responsible for storage, storing the actual data. Whereas the name nodes are basically responsible for storing only the metadata information. So that's why name node is called as the master node and data node is called as a slave nodes. How many number of slave nodes I can keep? I can keep uh, uh, more number of uh, slave nodes uh, but that information should be there in the name nodes again. And uh, this is the basic architecture of the HDFS. Say this is my master node here which is called as the name node and uh, one resource managers will be there. So what is the resource manager that is called as yarn at another resource negotiators and see here how many here I gave only the three slave nodes. Again in their slave nodes, data nodes will be there, node managers will be there, map and reduce functions. All these functions will be implemented in the slave nodes. So this is the high level architecture of the Hadoop. And uh, see how the data blocks are there in the Hadoop HDFS mode. See, I'm having the 400 MB of file size of uh, data files are there where I'm going to uh, break my 500 MB of the file into what is my minimum uh, block size of my data means here uh, previously it was 64 MB but now it was increased up to 128 MB in future it can be go up to it can rise up to 256 MB also that means each and every node or block size will be by default it is of 128 MB. So this is 128, 128, 128 and total 16 for the last node uh, I am going to allocate only the 16 MB of the data I am not allocating the complete. Uh, uh, 128 MB of that uh, to the file block now because rest of all the space will be wasted that is the reason I am going to use only the 16 MB so that's how your largest files will be broken and dumped onto the multiple nodes and the replication in the HDFS how the replication can be done in the HDFS so replication means uh, ensuring the availability of the data so our replication is making a copy of something. I'm going to create a copy of something. Multiple copies I'm going to maintain in the HDFS. Why? What is the reason means here? Huh? There is a reason. Why? Because uh, if uh, there is a crash or corruption is there in, uh, in terms of software failures or hardware failures. Huh? In such cases also Hadoop should be able to retrieve the data from the nodes. So that's why if one file block, if uh, one node is crashed also, there is no problem. It is going to retrieve the data from the another nodes. So that's why here we are having the file replication is there in the HDFS. So that how we can configure means we can configure with the help of a HDFS core side dot XML files. So in that XML files itself, we are having the default configuration file as a one if you want to increase the multiple copies of the replication copies you can go with two or three also 
Next one, this is the architecture. Here again, I am having the name node is there and in that name nodes, I am going to maintain one file. In that file itself, all the metadata information will be there. And if the client wants to read any sort of data here, see here, he can read the data which is already stored in the data nodes. So, and uh, if the client wants to write the data into the HDFS, means he, he can write the data into the HDFS or if you want to perform any node related operations or block related information that will be there in the name node. And if the client want to perform any metadata related operations, means again he can perform with the help of the name node. So, this is a few diagrammatic representation of the HDFS architecture. And now we will go for uh, the differences between the RDBMS versus Hadoop. So, what is the major differences without which we are having here? Means, uh, see, if you take the RDBMS, uh, the traditional row column based databases we are going to use. So, each and every data I am going for the present in the form of row column databases only. And basically, it is used for uh, data storage, manipulation, and the retrieval process we are going to use. But if you take the Hadoop, Hadoop is completely open source software we are going to use. We can store the data, we can run many applications and processes concurrently at the same time, parallelly at the same time we can do. That is one of the good feature of the Hadoop. And in this, the structured data is mostly processed here, whereas in the Hadoop it is not the case like that. We can process the structured data, unstructured data and semi-structured data also. And uh, this, if you take the RDBMS, this is a very good application which can be suited for the OLTP environments, whereas uh, this is a very good application for the uh, best suits for the big data related applications. And uh, it is less scalable than Hadoop and it is highly scalable than uh, in the Hadoop. And the data normalization is required in the RDBMS. We have to perform uh, data normalizations in the RDBMS, whereas uh, here, uh, it is not, uh, there is no need of uh, data normalization, it is not required in the Hadoop. And it stores transformed and aggregated data. It stores the transformed and the aggregated data information. And it stores the huge volume of the data here. So, we can store the huge volumes of the data in the Hadoop. And it has no latency in the response. It has no latency in the response and it has some latency. Latency means uh, the time it is going to take from uh, uh, from the source node to the destination node to transfer any sort of data that is called as latency. So, it is having very less latency, it is having some latency in response. Why? Because as we are dealing with the multiple formats of the data files and multiple data nodes, definitely it will take some time to do all that uh, processing. And the data schema of the RDBMS is the static type. All the data is a uh, data schema is completely static type, whereas the data schema of the Hadoop is completely dynamic type. We can change whenever you want the types of the data and high integrity is available here whereas low data integrity is available here and the cost is applicable for the licensed software whereas it is completely Hadoop is a completely of the free of cost. So that's all for today's guys. Hope you like this video.